Hi and welcome to this short Adobe Fireworks tutorial which will cover how to get an image into Fireworks and then how to change the size, make it bigger or smaller so that you can work with it more easily. So I've downloaded an image from the internet that I want to use as part of my project so I'm going to go from the splash screen, I can go open, you can obviously just use the, the file menu, you can go open and look for the image which should be on my desktop, there it is, and I've loaded it. And now you can see, even though it fits the screen, if you look here at the My Magnification, it's only 35%. So actually the image is a lot bigger than that. And if I zoom in now, you can see that at full size, it really is a bit too big. It's also given away by the pixels there. And I've got a very good quality image, so I can make it smaller without having any impact on how detailed detailed it is. So there's a couple of ways that we can make things smaller but there are important differences between them. One of the easiest ways to do it is how you might do it in an application program where you can just drag an image from the corner and resize it. So if I show you how that works in Fireworks you have to go to the select menu and then you've got the scale tool scale and then I can just go from the corner always from the corner so that you maintain the proportions of the image and I can make it smaller. If you notice so that the pixel size, that the, the pixels haven't changed, the number of pixels horizontally and vertically haven't changed, so all this does is, is change the way it looks on the screen. So if we actually want to physically change the dimensions of the image, what we might need to do is something else. So I could go to modify canvas, oops, modify canvas image size. And then, if you notice here, you've got options for pixel dimensions. Now, it gives us the, the document size in pixels. You may know the exact size in pixels that you want to work with, but you probably will find it easier to work in percent. So I'll change it to percent. Make sure you change it in both boxes. And what I've got now is 100%. So obviously, that means 100% is an image at full size. Bigger than 100%. I'd make the image larger, smaller than 100%, I would make it smaller. So all I need to do is change this, let's say change it to 50, changes it in both boxes so the proportions are the same, click OK, and now that's a lot smaller and you can see that I've actually changed, the number of pixels in there have changed as well. So I have actually properly physically resized the image this time. So that's resizing it and then the other thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could actually use the crop tool and decide which part of the image that you want if you don't think you need all of it. So if I go to the crop tool in the corner there and then all I do is I, I select the area of the image that I want. So I might just want this part with my guitar player in and then double click in the box and it's cropped it to size and I've made it smaller still. So by using the crop and resize tools I can make an image smaller and much easier to work with. Remember the bigger the image within your document the larger the file size you're going to have as well so you'll end up with quite a big document. So try using those techniques if you need to import and resize a, a, a photograph of your own. 